getting a closer look this evening at some shocking video from a state police dash cam that shows the very moment a trooper stopped a wrong way driver in Waterbury. Look at that. There, there's the collision right there. Now, no one was hurt, but the elderly driver behind the wheel was taken to the hospital because he appeared disoriented. NBC Connecticut's Amanda Pitts joining us live now from state police headquarters with more on the investigation and the warnings tonight. Amanda. Yeah, Mike Keisha, that trooper was in the right place at the right time, stopping that driver before anyone was hurt. He was issued a citation, and it's the eighth wrong way driving citation issued on a state highway so far this year. Tuesday morning on Route 8 in Waterbury. That's oftentimes we have to put ourselves in that in harm's way to pre prevent and protect others from getting injured. That's just what one trooper did when working a detail on a construction site. He responded to the dispatch that there was a wrong way driver. As he approaches that area, he begins to slow down and stop in the left lane uh, because he sees the headlights coming. That trooper's dash cam shows the headlights moving closer as the driver continues south on the northbound side. The trooper turns slightly and the cars collide. There's no right way to do it. We try the best way in that situation and in this situation uh, the trooper was uh, used his vehicle to stop that wrong way driver and like I said it, thank God that vehicle did slow down a little bit to not cause a serious accident. According to state police data, 46 wrong way citations were issued on state highways in 2023. And so far this year, there have been eight. Oftentimes they say the drivers are impaired, but that wasn't the case here. Police say it was an elderly man who was driving and after the crash, he was disoriented and taken to the hospital. The tip that we can give is just have that conversation with your loved one. We know it's a difficult conversation. We understand that there are some people out there that say you have to rip the license out of my hand or pry it out of my hand, um, but have that conversation with them. AAA echoes that sentiment, saying families often don't have that tough conversation until it's too late. The tough conversation, so go into it with empathy and talk about the safety aspects because the last thing anybody wants to do is harm somebody else on the roadway. Now we'll have much more with AAA coming up at 6, including tips on how to start that difficult conversation. Live in Middletown, Amanda Pitts, NBC Connecticut News. Mike.